Here's how to create a YouTube channel for beginners. We're gonna take you through step-by-step, step, starting with how to create a YouTube account through to the key YouTube settings that most people miss to help you grow on YouTube faster. Now, as we're going through, make sure you're checking out the links down in the description. We've got a bunch of other resources and training to help you with the growth of your channel. So to kick this off, we wanna head over to youtube.com. We can see that we are not signed in to any account here. So we wanna go ahead and sign in. So we're gonna click on this button here. This is going to prompt us to either log in with our existing Google or Gmail account or to create a new one if we don't have one yet. So if you don't have one, you would just hit create account down here. We can choose if it's for personal use, so a personal account for you, if it is for a child, or if it's a work or a business account, let's just pick personal. And then we go ahead and we'd fill in these prompts here. So it'll ask you some simple questions just to get your account created. But once your account is created, we can come back and we can go ahead and sign in. So we can see now that we are signed in. If we click on this little J up in the top corner here, we can see I'm signed in to my temporary Google account here. And because I don't have a YouTube account associated with this Google account, you can see right at the top here, it's got an option for us to create a YouTube channel. So if you're seeing this, then that's what we'll need to click on, create a channel. And then that'll take us through to the next step here. I'm gonna cancel out of this though, because if you're not seeing this, there is another way that we can get here as well. We can come down here to switch account, and then we can come down here to view all channels, and then we can hit create a channel here, because you can have multiple YouTube channels associated to your one Google or Gmail account. So we can go ahead and click that button, and we're then taken to the same screen here. This is where we can upload our channel avatar picture or our profile picture. I'm gonna go ahead and pick one here. We can scale it here if we need to. I'm gonna choose done. We then get to give our YouTube channel a name. Now it's defaulting here to my first name and last name. We can customize this up if we'd like to. My awesome channel, if that's what you wanna call it, then you can enter that here. But if you are struggling to work out what you should call your YouTube channel, it's a good idea just to start with your name. And it is something that you can come back and you can easily change later as well. So I'm just gonna go with Justin Test Channel. And then down below that, we can now pick our YouTube channel handle. And it's automatically generated one for us here based off our channel name. But if we'd like something else, then we can customize that up here too. Now this one does need to be unique. You can see it does a little check here. And then we get a green check when no one else has used this. And this is really your unique tag or your unique identifier for your channel. Once you've got those in, we wanna come down the bottom here to create channel. That'll go ahead and it will make your channel. So we can see here, it says your channel is being created. Check back in a few moments. Now, normally this takes around 30 seconds to create our channel, but we just wanna come up the top here and hit refresh until we're seeing our new channel here. So we can see straight away that our channel has been created. Now, there's obviously nothing on it yet. Also, our profile picture hasn't come through yet. We can hit refresh and that will appear. There we go. But then what we wanna do is to customize up our channel. So we can click here, it says customize channel. And this takes us to our YouTube studio dashboard area down under the customization tab. So if you ever wanna get back here from your YouTube channel and you're not seeing this customize channel button, you can just come up to your profile picture and you can come down to YouTube studio and then you can come down to customization. Now the first area we wanna look at here is over on this basic info tab. So the basic info for our YouTube channel. So in here we can see that again, we can set or change our YouTube channel name. And it does say that you can change your name twice within 14 days. So at any time, if you wanna change things up, you can easily do that here on this screen. Likewise with your YouTube channel handle. So we can see if we wanna share out a link to our YouTube channel, then our link here for this channel is youtube.com forward slash at Justin Test Channel. From here, if you'd like to, you can add in pronouns. You can also add in a YouTube channel description. Now, this is one that I would recommend that you are adding in so that people can work out what it is your channel is about. So it even says that here in the description. Tell viewers about your channel. Your description will appear in the about section of your channel and search results among other places. So to show you what I mean, if we jump across to our YouTube channel and we click on this line here, then this is where we can see that about section. So that channel description. Now the first sentence here, grow your brand and scale your revenue with video, that's actually what shows up here in this section. So when you're writing out your description, it's a good idea to be mindful of this. Whatever you write first will show up here. So you could be strategic with this piece. And then below that, we talk a little bit about our channel so people know what type of content we have. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and copy all of this text right now from our current channel and let's put it over into our new channel that we're making here. So let's paste that in there. And you can see that we do have a character limit of 1000. So you wanna be mindful of that. You can't write a full novel here. Now you also have the ability now to add in multiple languages here as well. So if we wanted to, we could come down here and hit add language and we can specify that our original language here was English. So this is our English channel name and this is our English channel description. But let's say that we wanted to create this in another language as well. Then we could come down here and we could pick maybe Dutch and a channel description in Dutch too. This isn't something that we've bothered to do with our channel, but it's cool that they've got that option now. I'm gonna hit cancel to go back out of this. Down below that is your YouTube channel URL. This really isn't used too much anymore. It's really been superseded by your channel handle. So this is the one that you can share out. You don't really need this bottom one here anymore. So for right now, you can ignore this. Below that is where we can add in links. It says here, share external links with your viewers. And these will be visible on your about page. So if we come back over here, we can see that we've got our first link here that is clickable and visible. And if we click on this one here, view five more links. If we scroll down, we can see all of the links here that we'd like. So let's come back over here. Let's go to add a link. Let's give the link a title. Maybe we'll add Instagram and we'll also add in our website here. Now we can also easily pick up and adjust and change the order of these as well. So you've got your important ones up the top and then down below that we can add in a contact email address for our channel. So go info at primalvideo.com. Now the one quick point with this is this email is going to be accessible to people on your channel. So if we come back over here and we choose this about again, scroll to the bottom, you can see here someone has to click on that to review reveal your email address. So it is public in a sense, which means that you could be opening yourself up to potential spam and junk email and all of that stuff as well as potential good emails as well. So I'd be mindful of putting my main personal primary email in here, knowing that it's likely going to get a bunch of spam and stuff too. But it is something that I think that's worth having on there. If brands or other people want to reach out to collaborate, it makes it easy for them to have a contact address. So now we've reached the bottom here. You just want to come up the top here, make sure you're hitting publish on this. So it's actually saving this. You can see now it's loading through. It's gone ahead and it's published those changes to our channel. Now that's saved, let's come across to the next tab up the top here, branding. And this is where we get to further customize up our channel. So we've already gone ahead and added in our profile picture at this point. If we want to change this at any point, we can just hit change. From here though, we can add in our YouTube channel banner image. And this is the image that sits across the top of your YouTube channel. So if we go back to our main channel here, that's this image across the top. If you don't have one yet, don't stress. Again, we've got links to tutorials down below where we take you through step-by-step -step on how you can easily create something to put there. It's also got some recommended specifications here around file size and physical size of the image that you're going to use. I'm going to hit upload here. We're going to upload our YouTube channel banner. And so this is a preview here of what that image actually looks like. So while we see here on YouTube that it's just showing this long skinny piece here, the actual image is much, much bigger. And that's because YouTube displays your channel different on different devices. So our image here is much, much bigger. If we see what's actually viewable on a TV, it's the entire image right now. If we see what's viewable on desktop, then that's exactly what we just saw. But if we see what's available on all devices, mobile and everything across the board, then it's actually only this smaller section here across the middle. Again, we help you with this in a dedicated tutorial, which is linked below. So we've got our image here. We're gonna hit done to upload that. And then you can upload here what's called your video watermark. This is a subscribe button that you can add to your channel to help your viewers subscribe when they're watching your videos. This shows up down the bottom right-hand corner. And again, I've got another video to help Help you make your own very, very quickly. I'm going to go ahead and choose a graphic. So we'll go upload. Let's pick our watermark image here. You can see it's very basic, but it does the trick. We're going to choose done. And now we get to choose here when this little image is actually shown on our videos. Do we just want it shown at the end? Do we want it shown across the entire video? For us, we normally have this start around 15 to 30 seconds in. So after any advertising or anything that's been run on our videos. So let's just have this at 30 seconds here. And again, we want to come back up the top here and hit publish so that these changes are saved. Now the last tab up the top here, layout. This is really going to apply once you've got some videos uploaded on your channel. So you can check back in here later and you can come through and customize up 
how your layout of your channel looks with different featured sections and things. But for right now, until you got videos on there, you can pretty much ignore this section. But what you will wanna do is come down here to settings. And this is where we can make some adjustments in here to make sure that our channel is set up right for us. So here you can choose your default currency for your channel. So later when your channel is monetized, this is the dollar currency that you will be seeing from ads and from other YouTube monetization. But if we come over here to channel, then this is where we can set our country of residence. So I'm gonna choose Australia. Now, one question I get asked here all the time is if my audience is going to be say in the US, but I'm based here in Australia, which one do I pick? Do I pick the audience that I want, or do I pick where I live? You should pick where you live. So even for our main channel, the bulk of our audience are in the US. We have picked Australia here as our country of residence we'll be running this channel from. Next, we wanna add in any keywords related to our channel. And when it says keywords, they're really key phrases more than individual words. So we can go Justin Brown. And when we type the comma, then that picks it up here as a tag or as a keyword phrase. So we've got Justin Brown. We'd also add in our channel name, Primal Video. And then we can also add some keywords around the type of content that's going to be on this channel. So we've got things like how to edit video, best camera for YouTube, how to start a YouTube channel. You get the idea. We can add up to 500 characters in here. And I say here, don't just spam in any trending tags or anything like that. Make sure that they actually are going to be related to your channel and know that you can come back and add more or remove stuff later. Next, let's come over here to advanced settings. Now, this is something that you will want to set. If you are creating content that is made for kids, so kids are the ideal audience that you are creating these videos for, then here you will want to set, yes, this channel is set made for kids. It says here, I always upload content that is made for kids. Then you will need to hit yes for that. If you're not creating content that's made for kids, then you can specify no here, or you can actually leave it on this bottom setting here. I want to review this for every separate video. So it can be specified that maybe some videos you designed for kids and others you didn't, you can manually set that too. So for us here, we're going to go, no, this channel is not made for kids. Now, if we scroll down in here, there is other settings that you can look at. It's good to go through each of these menus here, just so that you know all the things that you can customize up for you. But I'm covering the critical ones here. So next though, and really important that you want to come over here to feature eligibility. And you can see right now with our channel, as it is brand new channel, that we have unlocked number one here, standard features. And if we hit the little arrow here, it'll tell you exactly what you can do with your channel right now. But what you want to do here is try to unlock these other ones so that you're accessing more features that will help you grow your channel. So let's just hit the little drop down here on this next one, level two intermediate features. This is where you can have videos that are longer than 15 minutes, custom thumbnail images, which are really important to help you grow your YouTube channel. And obviously the ability to live stream in here as well. And to unlock this is actually really simple. You will need to verify your channel using a phone number. So we're gonna click here, verify with a phone number. We then get to choose whether we receive a text message or whether we get a phone call with an automated voice message. But we do need to enter our mobile number in here and then hit get code. Once that's done, it says that the phone number is verified. We can then come back to our channel customization here. And then we come back over here to feature eligibility. We can see that we've now got standard features enabled and intermediate features enabled as well. If we come down here, we can see there is a third one, advanced features. Now this is something that I think you don't need to be worried about doing straight away. But if you see what's included in this, then this is where you can appeal any content ID claims. You can create more live streams. You can upload more videos daily, more shorts daily. And you will need to run through this process to be eligible to apply for monetization when you reach the rest of YouTube's monetization requirements. So to access these features, there's currently three ways to do it. The first one is through video verification. So it says here that you simply look at your phone's camera, you follow the prompts on screen, look up, look down, and it's gonna do a quick video recording of you. The second way here is by using a valid form of identification. So you can upload a photo and submit that through to YouTube. And the third one is using channel history. So it says this one here takes up to two months. So once you've got videos on your channel, you've been uploading consistently, that YouTube would have enough information about your channel and that you are a legit channel, legit person, and it can be verified that way. And again, you wanna remember that you're hitting save down the bottom here to apply any changes that you've made. So let's go ahead and check out our channel now. We can see we've got our channel banner at the top here. We've got our profile picture. We've got our channel name. We've got our text that's been added in here as well. We can also see that we've got our links 
to Instagram and says one more link. If we click on this, it will show what that is. Shameless plug. If you're not following me on Instagram, here's my handle. And you can see that we've also got all of our about text added in here too. So the next step from here is to go ahead and start uploading some videos. And you can do that easily by hitting the little plus button up the top here and choose upload video. So that's how easy it is to create a YouTube channel. Again, don't forget to check out the links in the description box below. We've got a bunch of resources down there to help you with your channel banner art, your thumbnail images, and obviously how to make an effective video as well. And there's also a video linked on screen helping you get your first 1000 subscribers fast. I'll see you in there.